What are you eating? Happy Friday and thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and welcome to my vlog as you continue to follow me as I build my own practice. Uh, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. I know, uh, I think maybe back in August we did um, a wellness um, episode and so today we're going to do the same thing. But um, it came out of just what I've been experiencing with uh, starting my practice and now trying to build it my schedule has gotten extremely <laughs> hectic you know you think you're busy um, beforehand and then you're like oh my gosh I have zero time <laughs> now so I noticed over the last three to four weeks with starting the practice and moving my diet has just really really gone downhill um, I mean I made a commitment to you know, live a, a healthy lifestyle, including healthy eating and uh, engaging in regular physical activity. Since I was a teenager, I was an athlete. Um, but I have noticed over the last month, my lifestyle has not reflected that. So I know a lot of you are extremely busy with work and home and school. So I just wanted to let you know, I understand and I'm going to give a few tips um, on how to incorporate incorporate a healthy eating into a busy lifestyle. So let's get started. We are going to utilize the My Plate. And for those of you that are maybe my age or older, we grew up with the food pyramid. Um, this is just um, a little modification of that. They introduced this in around 2011. And so with the My Plate, um, it lists all of the uh, food groups um, that we should be eating from. And one of the biggest aspects about healthy eating is having a well-rounded diet. And that means eating foods from all major food groups. When you do that, you're able to get all of your nutrients and vitamins for the day. And so the major food groups are fruit, vegetables, protein, grains, and then dairy. So uh, keep in mind when you're shopping, when you're grocery shopping, when you're preparing meals at home, or even when you're going out to eat, be cognizant of these food groups and then make your decisions based on that. So like I said, this is a brief little overview. Um, maybe next time we'll talk more about um, reading nutrition labels and calorie counting and all of those things. Um, advanced meal planning, but today we're just going to go over basics. So I want you to have a mental picture um, and think that about what you've eaten over the last week or two. Um, and if you've gone grocery shopping or if you've gone out to eat, what foods do you automatically reach for? Is it the mac and cheese, um, the sweets, this is a little Cinnabon, um, desserts or convenience foods um, like hot, fast food, hot dog, hamburgers. Is that what you reach for or is your diet more consistent with, um, you know, oatmeal for breakfast instead of the, um, the sweets and salmon and um, sweet potatoes? and vegetables like asparagus, or do your meals look like that? Like I said, if you're like me over the past couple weeks, your meals may gear a little bit more towards that. I'm not completely there, but I'm definitely not where I was with a healthy eating every meal of the day. So um, if we were going to plan a meal, let's say um, with fruit. So let's say we're going to have breakfast and we want to incorporate all the food groups um, in our breakfast. So a little bit of fruit, uh, they recommend that we get about one to two servings of fruit every day. And so one serving of fruit would equal one banana or a cup of berries or even an apple or one orange. Um, and juice also counts as a fruit, 
one cup of juice just make sure that the juice is 100 percent juice it's preferable that you eat whole fruit um, instead of juice because juice can have a lot of extra sugar um, but if you do reach for juice make sure it's 100 percent juice um, so let's say now we go to our grains and we're going to eat oatmeal so they recommend that we get about three to eight ounces um, of oatmeal daily so what that looks like in when we talk about grains we talk about refined grains um, and whole grains so we recommend that you really stay with the whole grains whole grains are things like oats um, oatmeal um, whole wheat pasta instead of just white pasta um, and 100% um, whole grain bread instead of white bread and we refine refine grains kind of look like this crackers things of that nature um, pancake mix white bread things like that so we recommend that you stay away from that so in building our breakfast plate with the grains we could have a half a cup of oats and we could have blueberries a cup or um, any other type of fruit, a banana. Um, we may not have vegetables for breakfast, but some people like to um, add a little bit of kale or spinach. And so if we wanted to do that, we could add um, kale or spinach to a protein. And a protein can consist of uh, an egg like this, so we could have a little omelet um, with, uh, or just egg, a mini omelet. Sometimes I use like, one egg and two egg whites and scramble it with spinach or kale. Um, other proteins consist of salmon, like if we were building a lunch plate, uh, grilled chicken breast, and for protein, we are to get about two to six ounces. So something like um, salmon here, this size, which would be three ounces, the size of the palm of your hand is typically what we recommend. And then we also recommend that you eat leaner um, cuts of meat if you're gonna eat meat for your protein, such as getting 96 Four or higher um, ground beef instead of the 80-20 which is really high uh, in bad fat. Also um, chicken breast um, is a really good source of protein. It's lean, turkey, fish, things like that. And for those people that are vegetarians, um, soy is a good source of healthy protein. Um, nut butters, peanut butter, um, and things like that. So if we were to build a lunch or dinner plate um, for our fruit, we can go with the berries. We can do asparagus for our vegetables. Protein, once again, could be salmon. And then we could have a piece of whole grain bread. Where are my berries? A piece of whole grain bread for our grain. And then almost forgot the dairy. For dairy, just about one, one serving, and that could be um, a cup of yogurt or a cup of milk. And for those of you, we have a lot of you that are lactose intolerant, um, that soy milk and cashew milk will substitute and is still a good source of calcium. So I hope that that helps um, some of you. Just basics on nutrition, eating a well, rounded diet and just things to look for when you either go to a restaurant, prepare a meal at home, um, or go grocery shopping. So just try to get foods from all of the major food groups, fruit, vegetables, um, your grains, your dairy, and your protein. 
and you will be in good shape. Now there's a lot more to healthy eating such as um, calories, reading nutrition labels, we'll discuss that a little bit more, but this should suffice for now. For those of you, because I know it's Friday, some of you guys have already said YOLO, it's Friday, I'm going to eat <laughs> whatever I want, don't worry, you can start this weekend. Um, so as always, I hope that you guys be well, that you have an amazing rest of your Friday and a great restful weekend. Keep these tips in mind as you go grocery shopping and just know that it is still possible and absolutely vital um, for us to engage in healthy eating, physical activity, all those things uh, and aspects that keep us well despite busy schedules because as I said I noticed with the decline in my nutrition my fatigue levels have increased um, and I have just had all other kind of symptoms poor sleep all those things so just know that wellness encompasses all of those things and we need to have a healthy balance and everything to achieve true wellness see you soon